everyone, welcome back to the internet's best reactions. We are here for the 2019 F1 car launches, but before we dive into that, we have some very exciting news. On Sunday the 3rd of March, we are hosting the WTF1 Virtual GP, and we want you guys to get involved in the biggest simulator race in the world. Not really, but it's still going to be very good indeed. Tickets have been on sale for a few days now. They may well be running out, so get them right now. All the links, description, everything like that are down there. Okay, so before we dive into the actual F1 car launches, I thought it'd be good to have a few introductory ones. We're 2019, Internet's Best Reactions is back. F1 cars are back. I'm so excited, as is at Matthew Simpson 99 Me seeing Internet's Best Reactions is back. Yeah, give it that thumbs up, my lad. And also at white underscore wolf 85, when F1 stuff starts happening again. We are all very excited indeed. Let's get into the F1 car launches. What was your favorite? Okay, let's start off with the reigning champions, Mercedes, and how people reacted to this glorious silver arrows. At Blue Line Racer, I did not expect much from Mercedes, but man, did they surprise me. Great livery, so far best of the season. <laughs> the news is a Gordon Ramsay, uh, wow. He likes the livery, that's for sure. At Official A Knight, so the Merc, once again, same thing with slightly new bits. Now, I know a lot of people were concerned about the Toro Rosso, Renaults, etc. being very similar, but using Mercedes as one of those as being a little bit too similar, I don't know. I, they're not gonna change it completely. I know they teased the camo livery, but I think it's different enough to feel like it's a completely new car without changing too much, so you still know it's a Mercedes. You get me? At Farhan, Zahir Sia. There you go, got it third time. Uh, hashtag WTF1 Mercedes backside livery. I don't feel so good. I feel great, actually. The best reaction to this back. I'm really happy. Are you happy? I'm happy. You're happy. We're happy. Everyone's happy. Moving on to Ferrari now. At Dan underscore Paul Ricardo, who is clearly a red... Well, he hasn't actually updated his Ricardo picture, so clearly not that big of a Danny Rick fan. Unpopular opinion, but the black doesn't work on the Ferrari. I disagree. I disagree hugely. Hugely disagreeing right now. At Dixit underscore Harsha, hashtag WTF1, Scudero Ferrari barely changes anything on the livery, Ferrari fanboys. Now he's using the Pikachu GIF, which is up there in my top five on the GIF rankings ladder, so it had to be included. But again, there was enough changes on the Ferrari for it not to be deemed a Control C, Control V, which was a meme that I saw for far too many reactions, so I couldn't really use too many of them. But I think the Ferrari changed enough as well. Looks decent, the black's a great addition and I don't know why people are complaining. At Alex Stanger 1993, me trying to read black text on the Ferrari. <laughs> I don't know why everyone's trying. I know it's not as clear as the white, but we know what's said on it, and I guess it's a nicer kind of merge in with the red, personally. I didn't like the rims as black, which people were photoshopping, but I think the black works well. Why is everyone complaining? Stop complaining! It's a good, nice looking car! Now we move on to Red Bull, at underscore Chevywood. Damn, another camo livery from Red Bull Racing that isn't the real livery for the season. Oh, I know, they launched that beautiful car, just like they've, they've had us every single time. They're like, oh, check out our new livery. And then they're like, oh, it's a one-off or it's testing. It wasn't even used for testing. It's just a tease livery, just to blow the internet up. And they did, they blew up the internet. They mission accomplished. They fooled everyone, they angered us, but at the same time, the Red Bull livery is a classic. And can you really go wrong with it? At Extreme Gamer 441, Red Bull, why do you always put on an awesome livery just to replace it at testing? <laughs> Joke's on you, wasn't even at testing. Now how do you feel? Now this one was good, I enjoyed this one. At Fabian Gaming 73 is this a mailbox for complaints about the Honda engine? Now obviously the main talking point is the fact Red Bull sold this launch look to us and we kind of got very excited and I think at underscore Frankie underscore has summed it up perfectly when you realise it's just a launch look. Sad times, but at least they released a livery, unlike Mercedes, who just kind of teased this sort of camo livery, but then didn't even release the actual livery or even show it as a launch look. Boring! Now we move on to the easiest team name to remember in 2019. Sport Pazer Racing Point Force India Formula One Pink Panther Racing Team. 
I think that's right. The first tweet, at James Ward G, still happy it's a Pink Panther, but what's that blue? I, ha I, I tend to agree with this one. The blue, for me, doesn't really mix with pink. It's a very strange combination of colours. Obviously, Sport Pazer is that kind of black, uh, blue, even though I thought the overalls were black, and then I kind of had to delete the tweet, because I was like, okay, it's actually blue. But I don't think it works, personally. What do you think? At Binder underscore Manny, I will definitely think it's Force India for most of the season. As will I, as will probably the commentators, as will everybody in the paddock, but it's Sport Pazer Racing Point Formula One team. Moving on, it has to be Haas next. <laughs> I'm a terrible human being. At MLG underscore Tenkel Pingu. <laughs> Pingu in the name, love it. Haas should have renamed their team to Force America. I, I have to agree. That is a great name, Force America. Change it now. At Kimmy JB 17 every Haas fan when they saw the golden parts of the 2019 livery. Oh yeah. I, I, for me, I love a bit of black and gold, gold especially, great colour, and I think Haas have absolutely nailed it. I know there's a lot of controversy about the Rich Energy logo that's on there and whether they'll fold three races into the season, but the car itself looks fit. This is one of my favourite memes ever, at Ormitrillium. First car of the 2019 season unveiled and everyone is like, obviously Haas was the first team to be unveiled, and that's a great, great meme. It does look like a Lotus, it does. and. Good meme. Together, makes it on Internet's Best Reactions. If you want to get featured, be like this guy. Ormitrum Helbellium. Williams. Now, I know Williams has been hot topic of conversation recently because of their F1 testing antics, but we're not talking about F1 testing just yet. We're talking about the F1 car launches because there's loads of reactions to that. We will talk about testing soon in a podcast. At Shivampi is the background tribute to new Williams F1 team paint scheme. If you see in the background of the Force India, there is the Williams paint scheme. Is there a collaboration there? Is that why they haven't turned up to F1 testing? Who knows? Well, they will be actually at F1 testing by the time this goes out, but they were late, weren't they? So maybe there's a Sport Pazer and Williams collab going on. Cool. Okay, this next one I feel like people need to settle in for. It's gonna be a 50-50 between cringe and great tweet. Let me know which one you decide to be. At G Roadman 9, the Williams is rocking its new livery. Is this what 2019 is going to bring? At Oliver J Sweeney 1, loving the new sponsors for Williams Racing this year. Hashtag Colgate car. Does look like Colgate. I use Colgate. At DMC given underscore 123, not sure why everyone's hating on Williams. Livery. <laughs> I quite like it. Another Colgate user I can see. At Shirag 5 Kana. Not sure why I sung that. Don't know why, but as soon as I saw the first pictures of the hashtag FW42, uh, it's almost felt like this is the year of William Racing's resurgence. Livery looks different, but blends in well, actually. I feel like this tweet was sent before they didn't turn up to testing. But they will have turned up to testing by the time this video goes out, which I've stated before, but then they were late to testing. So they're going through a bit of turmoil at the moment, but Williams, will they resurge? Is that a word? Find out next week. Are you having a bubble? They, they knew we were filming. All right, okay, we'll come out, we'll sign some pictures. For what? At Zach underscore Summerill. I'm sorry, but who else thinks that the new Williams looks like the Bounty chocolate bar wrapper? Therefore, it means that nobody from the UK will like it. Savage. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of Bounty. It's kind of like midway in the chocolate bar scale. But it's not not liking. Can I get a general consensus in the audience slash cameramen? They can't see your hand, Vincent. You need to give an audio reply. Yes, you like Bounty. You like Bounty? No. Okay, so there's a divided opinion. It doesn't mean no one likes it. Yes. This one's good. At Risky underscore Apex. Claire Williams designing the Williams F1 car. Yeah, she left quite a bit of white though, didn't she? It did look a little bit unfinished. Just a little bit. I like it, but not really like it. If they'd finished it, put more blue on it, Maybe I'd really like it. Toro Rosso! At We Stand to Fight, Renault and Toro Rosso liveries don't fix what isn't broke. Now that was a general consensus for a lot of people that, you know, they were two great liveries. I feel like we could almost combine the two, but there are some funny reactions for Renault as well, so we'll keep them separate. But yeah, they, but, you know, Toro Rosso didn't really change it, but I don't think they really needed to change it. It's a sexy livery, as We Stand to Fight says, so I agree. At hand underscore the underscore sloth. <laughs> this was a very good tweet. Not because it has Charles Leclerc in. Okay, half because Charles Leclerc's in it. 
but STR 13 versus STR 14. <laughs> Top notch. At Seb underscore Bentham, when you wait months for the Toro Rosso launch and it's the same as last year. Now I know a lot of people have been complaining about this, but what would you have want different? I know maybe something like a Mercedes and Ferrari, they didn't change it as much as that is very, very subtle changes. So I do agree on that part, but what could they possibly have changed? I feel like anything they would have done may have made the livery worse. Food for thought. At Sturs, Haas and Williams completely redesigned their colors and livery. Toro Rosso. You gotta wonder what the livery designers do, like Toro Rosso and Renault. What are they doing for like nine months? You know, please redesign us a, a new livery for 2019 Challenger, please. Okay, cool. Give it to you in, uh, in January. And then they don't, it's just the same one. I'd like that job. Just do nothing. Renault. We move on to the yellow beasts now. At A Cooper One, me trying to spot the differences on the Renault and Toro Rosso 2019 liveries. This made me chuckle. Good gift, good tweet. Well done. Moving on. At Houdin One. Oh, it's Houdini. <laughs> Carrying on, watching Daniel Ricciardo with the new Renault F1 car, and I'm exactly the same. I am a big Renault fan now because Danny Rick's there. He had his wing fall off in testing, but no, I'm not allowed to talk about testing since F1 car launches, sorry, I didn't mean to say that anyway. But I'm really happy that Danny Rick's got a new team. Fresh start. Will they be competitive in 2019? They've been proper giving themselves the old, yes, we're going to get on the podium at some point during the season. Will it be Hulkenberg? Probably not. Alfa Romeo. At Nando is faster, F1. Is that a new sponsor, Alfa Romeo? Now, I'm not particularly up to date with my handbag sponsors and, uh, and brands and whatnot, so I don't know if this is a particular bit of banter that I've not understood, but still thought I'd include it because it looks kind of similar. Also, at Lucas underscore Seiko. <laughs> now he asks, the question I think we were all wondering during this F1 2019 car launch period, is it wrong to be sexually attracted to a race car? No. Last, but by no means least, we have McLaren at Track Critter. Is this me, or does one of McLaren F1 sponsors look like Aperture Science logo? Now, I don't actually understand this because I never played the Portal 2 game, but apparently lots of people do. So here's the tweet. Get it, got it, good. At McCracken13, that tiny fin on the new McLaren F1 though. Now, I'm so sorry for sharing this. I am so sorry because now you and I and everybody looking at that tweet now has that song in their head. I'm so sorry. Now some people, you know, are very eloquent with their replies, giving a, a reasoning and understanding as to why they don't like a particular livery. Maybe it's the shape, maybe it's the color, maybe it's the scheme, it's maybe it's how they all blend. Well, at the game QT comes in with Nah. And then you have people passionate, ready to give McLaren a bit of loving for their livery at McCory13. This is gorgeous. Holy shit. No, they're not talking about me, they're talking about the car. <laughs> cool. Good one. Uh, that was an on purpose snort, FYI. Cool. And that is it for the internet's best reactions to the 2019 F1 car launches. We will be talking about testing in a podcast coming very soon. If you want to get involved in our WTF1 GP virtual, then make sure you click the link in the description below. 3rd of March, Sunday, go and get your tickets because they are running out pretty fast indeed. And that is it. I'm Matt with WTF1 and we'll see you next time for the Australian Grand Prix very soon. Yes! See you soon. Bye.